G'day, g'day. I'm Grant from The Simple Joys. Welcome to Natural Born Pickers. Natural Born Pickers. For all of those junk lovers out there, I hope you join me in these episodes. I'm going to show you a little bit of what we do. We go out picking, grab any bargains we can, particularly old stuff, antique or vintage items, bring them home, clean them up, and we usually resell them unless we like them too much and then we just have to keep them. All right, guys. See what we've got for you this week. Let's go picking! You love junk, we love junk, the world loves junk. <laughs> Look what I just bought home. It's something I've never seen before, not on this scale anyway, not this big. Um, it's what we believe to be a cheese cutter wheel. So the big wheels of cheese you can get, it cuts them up, and if you have a look at the top, we've got the beautiful big blade cuts down, the tabletop spins around like a giant lazy Susan. We have a look underneath the tabletop. Got old casters there, old caster wheels. Beautiful old handle. This handle is a lever that hooks up, moves your cutting blade side to side on the bar it's a little bit dusty and dirty a bit grotty at the moment so I can't wait to see it cleaned up I have seen antique cheese cutters that go on the bench top and they're beautiful I got a bit more cast iron on them and they're more this size not like this one this one's this big it's massive all well, this size, I imagine it might have came from an old general store or a um, specialty store, some sort of dairy product store. So the person I bought it off said they bought it as a cheese cutter and they thought it came from Switzerland. Now the only thing I can find on it in, as far as manufacturers or any sort of name is this tag on the side here. Okay, so we've got some sort of little alloy tag or tin tag on it there that says France Strike 8500 Nuremberg and it's got some numbers on it which I assume are manufacturing numbers and then underneath it beautifully carved into the timber there under the tag is the word strike or strike <laughs> I would love to hear from any of you who've had any sort of um, encounter with the word Franz Strike or Nuremberg. I tried googling and all I could come up with was um, Nuremberg or Nuremberg which is translated to Nuremberg is a German city and of course Franz Strike sounds German but there's also Swedish companies with strike in it so I'm um, no no None the wiser. Um, none the wiser. So if you guys have got any idea whatsoever, if you've heard of that name or that company in any way, shape or form, please leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. It's going to clean up lovely though. I love the old timber in it. It looks good. Especially this handle. Look at that. The old handle shaped. And then this one too, that handle. With the old metal running through the centre of it. Seems to have markers around the edge. I don't know whether that was for a standard size triangle of cheese. It's got a safety pin in it to stop it from moving. And then once you take the pin out, push this handle down. And we can move it so we can have a centre cut. I'll bring it over there and have a side cut. a little basket of goodies for cleaning just very basic stuff all I'll need to get it nice and clean we've got hot soapy water a banister brush a couple of scrubbing brushes cloths and for when I'm finished furniture polish I'll also spray the metal components and the caster wheels with a little bit of lubricant in a can it's just spray on stuff. 
nice cheap couple of bucks at the um, auto shops for CRC or multi-purpose spray whatever you want to call it it's just a lubricant for metal joints and hinges and that sort of thing just make sure everything rolls and slides rolls and slides the way it should just getting the cobwebs and the dust off first with a quick brush I'm talking about the table, not me, right? <laughs> this old thing cut the cheese a lot. So was he. <laughs> All right, nearly finished. I'll pull out my water and me scrubbing brushes, and me cloths in a minute. Oh, Mister. Mister Hall. When that happens. <laughs> I saw that cheeky little grin. <laughs> Even a seasoned professional misses the hole sometimes. <laughs> how some things get that old smell about them yeah this table's got that smell i'm glad you said the table and not me then <laughs> have i got that old smell yet baby no not yet the table has <laughs> A cedar oil, one of Australia's favourite products for over a hundred years, bringing out the best in your timber. All sorts of furniture look their best with O cedar oil. Uh, it's just a, um, a very common furniture polish in Australia. Does all sorts of timbers, different ones. So we'll put it in, give the timber or the wood a drink, and see how it comes up. Let's do it. We'll start up the end here. That'll get me a bit on the rag. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'll do a comparison before you go too far. Look. Yeah, giving it a drink. Now you can see the difference. can almost hear that timber going, ah, a drink. Now it's coming up nice, it's already heaps better. We'll let that soak in a bit and then we might give it another coat. Whew, pickings, thirsty work. Cheers guys. I oiled everything up, made everything smooth and easy to move. One of my favourite parts, the handle. I love the handle on that. Look at that. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, leave us a message and subscribe we'd love to have you as part of the simple joys family make sure you ring the bell also so you get notifications and that way you won't miss anything we put up if you want to get more involved in the channel there's plenty of options we've got merchandise if you want to look at the simple joys merchandise we always have links in descriptions below we've also got a membership option if you want to join get special little features facebook twitter We've got a community page if you want to leave us personal messages. We love hearing from everybody. TSJ family is one big place of positive energy. We'd love to hear anything you've got to share with us. And remember, take time for the simple joys in life. Bye.